Okay, in this video we're going to solve this non-homogeneous system of differential equations given by this matrix equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. So it turns out for non-homogeneous differential equations where you have a matrix here, you can use a lot of the methods from uh, the theory of a single differential equation in order to solve systems of differential equations and that's what we're going to see here with the method of undetermined coefficients. So I just want to point out some things that I'm not going to cover in this video. I'm not going to cover how to find the homogeneous solution which is given by this matrix exponential e to the ta times an arbitrary vector in uh, R2 in this case um, where that's like has to do with your initial conditions and I've got a bunch of other videos where I calculate e to the ta and go through all of the cases for how to do that. So I'll let you guys look at that if you are interested. So the first thing that we want to do uh, as we attack this with the method of undetermined coefficients is to take this, which maybe we could call this like a vector function g of t and decompose it a little bit. So let's take this uh, matrix sorry this vector function g of t and write it as follows so let's write it as e to the 4t times a vector 2 1 great and then plus sine t times a vector 1 0 and now you can see where we're going plus cosine t times a vector 0 1 so now this makes this look uh, more similar to a single differential equation than it maybe did before where our coefficients are given by vectors instead of just numbers. So now we can make a guess at our particular solution. Okay, so our guess will be, we'll call it yp, so it's going to be e to the 4t times a vector a, which is undetermined, plus sine t times a vector b which is undetermined plus cos t times a vector c which is undetermined. Now the next thing we'll do is plug this into our differential equation and that'll give us a system of vector equations that we can use to solve for little a, b, and c vector. So let's first take the derivative. So we have y p prime that's going to be 4e to the 4t times vector a um, plus cosine t times vector b minus sine t times vector c. Good. So that's what we get for the left-hand side. So now we look at the right-hand side of our equation. So we're taking matrix A and multiplying this particular solution. So that's going to give us e to the 4t and then matrix A times vector little a. And now we have plus sine of t, um, matrix A times vector little b, and then plus cos t, uh, matrix A times little c. Okay, great. But then we have this function as well, which we'll write in this form. So we also have plus e to the 4t times this vector 2, 1, plus sine t times this vector 1, 0, plus uh, cosine t times this vector 0, 1. And now we can notice that that's going to give us a system of equations, which I'll color code underlining, and then we'll uh, erase the board and attack these one at a time. So we've got one uh, that is related to coefficients of our exponential function. So we know that this uh, 4 times vector a needs to be equal to uh, matrix a times vector a plus this vector down here. And then we have one for cosine. So we have vector b here, um, a times C here and then we have this vector uh, 0 1 okay great and then finally we have one for sine so that's going to give us that one that one and that one so we have a blue a, a three equations three vector equations that one that's underlined in blue the orange and the red and that will allow us to solve for a B and C okay so I'm gonna erase the board and then we'll get to solving this okay so our 
vector equation for uh, the coefficient of e to the 4t is as follows. So I've swapped the sides of the equal sign, but this is what we get. We get matrix A times vector little a plus 2, 1 equals 4 times uh, little vector a. So let's see, we can rewrite this as 4 times the identity matrix times little vector a, and then move it over to the other side of the equation, and that's going to give us the following. So we'll have a uh, times little vector a minus 4 times the identity matrix times little vector a, and that's going to be equal to minus this vector 2, 1 by moving that over. But now what we can do here is distribute a... Mate, sorry, a vector a from the right side of the equation, and that's going to give us a minus 4i times a uh, little vector a. Okay, so, but now we can calculate this matrix, and that matrix is, well, I'll let you figure it out. It's just this minus 4 times the identity matrix, so it's easy to see that that's going to be minus 3, 2, 2, minus 3 times vector little a equals minus 2, minus 1. Good, which tells us that uh, little vector a is going to be the inverse of this matrix times that vector. So uh, I'll write that out. So that's minus 3, 2, 2, minus 3 inverse times this vector minus 2, minus 1, which tells us that uh, vector little a is given by, so I'll factor a fifth out of it, and then we'll have 8 7. So there, we've gotten our vector little a, so now I'll clean up the board and then we'll get our vectors little b and little c. Okay, so now that we've got this system of vector equations for little vector b and little vector c, so what we're going to do is use this to solve for those two vectors. So notice we already have b written in terms of vector c in this equation, so we're going to put that into uh, the right equation. So let's see, that's going to give us a, but then in, instead of writing vector b, we're going to write the following. We have a vector c plus 0, 1 equals negative vector c. Okay, so now notice we can write that out as a uh, matrix A squared times C uh, plus matrix A times 0, 1 equals minus C. Okay, now um, we can start doing this calculation here. Notice we know the matrix A. So uh, what we can do here is find the matrix A squared. So notice A squared is going to be uh, 1, 2, 2, 1 times 1, 2, 2, 1 times C. And then we have this plus 1, 2, 2, 1 times 0, 1. And then we have minus vector C there. Okay, so let's see what we get when we multiply this out. So we'll get uh, 1 plus uh, 4 is 5 right here. There we'll get 2 plus 2, which is 4. Here we'll get 2 plus 2, which is 4. And there we'll get 4 plus 1, which is 5. So we have that times uh, vector C is going to be plus. So what are we going to get here? We're going to get 2 and then 1. And then over here, we're going to rewrite this as minus the identity matrix times uh, our vector C. Now what we can do is uh, move this guy over. So notice if we move that guy over, just as a reminder, that's going to be minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 times our vector C. So we'll move that over the left-hand side, and that's going to give us 6, 4, 4, 6 times a vector C equals minus 2 minus 1 when we move that over to the right hand side. Okay, great. Now what we can do is take the inverse of this matrix and that will give us uh, C. So let's see what that will give us. I'll skip some of the steps, but um, what we'll get here is the following. We'll get 1 sixth and then 5 1. Okay, so that's what we get there. So we've got our vector C. So what I'll do is I'll move that up and then we'll use that to calculate our vector B and then we'll put it all together into a final solution. 
Okay, good. So we're almost done. We've got our vector C is this one sixth scalar multiple of this vector five one. But now notice this equation up here is just gonna give us B super quick. So now we have uh, A times this. So that's gonna be one sixth. And then A is one, two, two, one times five one plus zero one. So that is going to give us B by this left equation. Okay, so uh, that's just like fairly simple arithmetic. So that's gonna give us the following um, value for B. So that will be one sixth and then one negative one. So we've got B, we've got C. Earlier we had A, so I'll just write that down as a reminder. Remember that A was equal to one fifth, eight, seven. So all in all, we can put that together. That means our particular solution, remember that was e to the 4t times this a vector. So that's gonna be times 1 fifth, eight, seven. And then it was um, plus sine t times our b vector. So that's gonna be times 1 sixth, one negative one plus cos t times our c vector, so that's going to be uh, times one sixth five one. Okay, great. Now, if you want to, you can mash that all together, um, and you would get something like this. You would get something like uh, eight over five e to the four t um, plus one over six sine t plus five over six cosine t. So that would be in the top entry of the vector. And then down here you would have seven over five e to the four t um, minus one over six sine t and then uh, plus one over six cosine t. And that would be our particular solution. Okay, that's the end of the video.